Everywhere I go, Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok, I see these perfect morning routines. So I decided to try one out, wake up by 5 a.m. and see what the fuss is about. Yo. Okay, so I just wanted to cut in quickly and say that I just created a podcast and I would love if you listen to it. I talk about real issues and just think out loud. It's on Spotify and also the link will be in my description. Hey guys, it's Jess and welcome back to the video. So for today's video, I had to do a little bit of research. I went onto Pinterest and wrote out everything that was going to be the perfect morning routine. And man, was it a list. It was really a list. So here's me being really stressed out. And then I realized I'd have to wake up at 5 a.m. to live this perfect routine life. So here I was just procrastinating going to bed, but I knew I had to get up early, so I took off my mascara. I think I got some makeup remover in my eye, per usual. And then I got myself to bed. And this is me at 5 a.m. Um, I forgot to take a picture of the time with the a.m. in it, so you're just going to have to take my word for it, but I swear it was 5 a.m. because I think you can tell by my face, to be honest. Um, I was not impressed. And here I look really depressed. I just look... See, why do I look so sad there? <laughs> but yeah, I was really not having it. I had to find a five-minute meditation according to my list. So I, found, I picked this one for positive energy because I was feeling the opposite of positive energy. I was feeling very negative. So here's me doing meditation. I look very zen, but I don't think I was very zen. I finished the meditation and I look like I've just been like, I don't even know, just like reborn. Then it was time for journaling. I quite like journaling. This was, this was good just to get all the thoughts out. So according to my perfect morning routine sources, this is just a good way to wake up. I wrote some gratitude, just some other things down. I got changed. I took my vitamins. Um, yeah, because I'm healthy. <laughs> and I don't know why I just dry swallowed them. And then I decided to wash my face and brush my teeth before I was going to go out for a walk. Wow. I haven't been outside at this time for like ever. It's so weird. It's too quiet. It's freaking me out. This is stressful. It's pretty though. It's cold. Supposedly sun is gonna rise at 6.35, so they're just allowed. We'll see if we make it. It's really cold, my hands are freezing. Also, I haven't, it's actually so weird, like walking in the road when there's no one around, it's like, really cool actually you can just like walk on the road there's no cars there's no people i actually haven't even been on social media this morning i tried to not wake up and go straight on it because i've been doing that lately and it just doesn't help anything and yeah so i haven't gone on yet and i'm staying strong until like later like i just don't even want to see it like i just want to have to face up to reality you know okay so i don't know if there's gonna be a sunrise just because it's so smoky they were burning off um some areas so i don't know if i want to get a sunrise but i think i'm just gonna sit on this rock and my hands are freezing but it's weirdly it's weirdly really nice
some people just told me it's all good. That's really all good. Okay, currently walking home. It's about. I don't know. I don't, I have a bit of a headache probably because I haven't had coffee yet. I don't know what I'm doing when I get home. I have to consult the list, but I'll catch up with you soon. Okay, so I just got home and I just consulted the schedule and it's yoga time. Woo! <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? Okay, let's have a little chatty chat. I've got my coffee, finally. Um, and it's currently, Ellie, please don't lick the camera. She really hits different when you've done a whole bunch of other stuff and not let yourself have coffee um, before. Cause I was gonna be like, this can be like your treat for doing everything, you know? Like I had to have a little incentive. Currently, I feel really weirdly good. Like, I feel like very calm. Cause like in the morning, sometimes I get a lot of like anxiety and I can get quite overwhelmed just like by how much I have to do or just like, I don't know where to start. Um, but I think like going on the walk so early and then just like basically just clearing my head. I know that I'm probably gonna crash later in the day just cause like you can't keep this momentum up like the whole day. But I feel like when I went to sleep last night, I didn't go to bed that early, <laughs> but also like all night is kind of new. I had to get up, so I just didn't sleep well. And when I got up, I considered so many times of just like putting off this video and going back to bed because I did not want to get up. And it was also because like, I just, when I looked at the list that I created last night, it was good because I had a list. Otherwise I probably would have just gone to bed. But uh, it felt like really overwhelming. I was, I'm still gonna have to work on meditation because I think it is something that I will actually help me a lot, but I'm just not quite there yet with it. But I know it's a process. I think journaling, that was almost better for me than meditation. It was just like writing all these random thoughts I had out and just some like things I was grateful for. 
journaling's always worked well for me but for mental block against doing it because i didn't don't really want to see all of it on the paper like it's like a bit confronting but it actually works really well because it just gets all of the stuff out of my head it's weird like i i came into this going you know what it's it's so it's too much like it's unattainable i've always loved the idea of having like a really set morning routine like this but i've always thought that it's 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 a lot of pressure to be like all perfect and it's not really that sustainable but i don't know like and now i'm kind of like i don't know i wanted to show like it's quite a lot of unrealistic expectations and yes it does work well but like you don't you don't have to do all of this stuff in the morning just to have a productive day like this phenomenon everywhere this like waking up thing this pinterest thing has become an aesthetic rather than like doing it for self-improvement do it by increments and don't feel the pressure that you have to do this crazy morning routine every day to have a productive day just because it's like an aesthetic that you see on tiktok and instagram because it's just not realistic you know cheers okay according to the list the next thing i had to do was shower and do my skincare I don't have a skincare routine. I don't usually do anything. This is really bad. Yeah, I know, I'm just not educated about it. So I just put some random moisturizer on there and, and cleanse my face a little bit. And yeah, then I decided to just do my eyebrows and put some mascara on. That's usually as far as I go with makeup if I decide to put on makeup, which these days, because we're in lockdown, I don't normally. And then, yeah, I got changed, put on a new pair of pair of clothes I guess. Um, I think that this was around like maybe nine o'clock I decided to try and do something cool with my hair just wasn't happening at all really like what what is that Jess like what so I just decided to just like have it out and brush it so that was good enough Decided to do some schoolwork. I actually got through an article. I was actually pretty proud. I felt focused and then I started dancing. And then I felt focused again. And then I literally got so hungry and remembered that I hadn't drunk any water, which is like the number one Pinterest rule to drink heaps of water, which I'm so bad at. So I drank a bunch of water. Decided to make my aesthetic breakfast. Um, my eggs. I didn't have any toast, so I couldn't make like the avocado toast. But I made the eggs and then I decided to make an egg wrap with avocado instead. And I still got the avocado in because in like every morning routine I've seen, there's always been avocado. So I knew I needed to include avocado for the perfect morning routine. Um, then I just made the egg wrap and it was not beautiful or aesthetic at all. But it actually really tasted delicious. So it had it that going for it and I enjoyed it because I was actually starving by this point. I'd already been up for like at least five and a half hours and it was only 9.30. So that was crazy concept to me. And then how could I forget the lemon water? How could this be a morning routine without lemon water? So I decided to do that and I was stupid and instead of just putting a slice in, I literally put like half a lemon. Um, and yeah i don't know all the pips came out and i was like trying to get them out of there but it actually didn't taste that bad so that was fine um i was actually pleasantly surprised and i just gulped it all down and then i've been needing to pee the rest of the day because i'm just not used to drinking this much water which is bad but i'm trying to work on it and yeah, now I'm editing and drinking more water. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not sure if I'll be doing this again, but I'm definitely going to be implementing some of these things into my everyday routine. Let me know what you think. I don't think there should be this much pressure on having like the perfect aesthetic morning routine, but I definitely think that there are some things that are really healthy to be implementing and that in this way Pinterest and Instagram and TikTok promote healthy habits but I think sometimes to a degree which seems a little bit unsustainable. Please like and subscribe and comment and I'll catch you next time.